City Notary. This is Kayla. And so this weekend was the 4th of July, so I did not post anything for Mindful Tip Mondays because I was still on vacation and really just enjoying the time off with my family and friends. So I really just wanted to touch base. Um, I stated in the last video that I did post on Friday that today, technically I said Monday, but it slipped my mind that it was going to be a holiday. So anyway, today is pretty much the start of the new month, okay? It is, sorry, my little one's back here. Um, today is the 6th. And what that means is it is the brand new start of a new month. This is July 2021. And I am only really doing signings with signing companies. Not a bad thing, okay, because they do send a lot. Um, but I'm really wanting to go direct. Why? Because I can get more signings that way and I can build more of a, a rapport, a business rapport with them. Um, so they get to know who I am and we're on a first name basis and they'll trust me more. So therefore they'll give me more signings. So with that being said, I am going to put right here two things. The first thing that I'm going to put is I'm going to put the email that I physically sent out to all of these title companies in my area. The second thing that I'm going to put out is the actual Excel sheet that I created. Now on the Excel sheet, all I did was I put the name of the title company, their address, their city, state, and zip code in case I ever need to physically mail anything to them, their phone number so that way I can call them, and then I put an email contact. Now in order to find an email contact, some of these title companies will either just have like a general um, email that kind of all of their inquiries go to, but I have found that a lot of them, if you dig deep enough, you can go to like meet my team or contact us or you know click on about us and it'll actually show a picture of the person with their title next to it and so what i did was instead of just choosing like a closing agent or an escrow officer i would get the manager okay so i would do the escrow manager or the operations manager or the closing manager um and i did that because they're over everybody else so if you can get in good with the person who is in charge of everyone else the likelihood of you getting more signings is high because then what they're going to do is they more than likely hopefully will send out your email they'll forward it to all of the people under them so now your information is getting out to more than just one person at that company um, and so that's that's kind of just my little tip for how I choose which email I'm going to send um, my information to. And like I said, um, I put the Excel sheet first because I wanted you to see how I did everything. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave up the email that I actually sent. And I'm leaving it up so that way you guys can actually see what it is that I put in the email, what I said. I tried to make it short and sweet. I feel like uh, a month ago when I sent out an email um, and when I physically mailed out everything, it was kind of a bit lengthy and I find that if it's too long, they're going to get lost and they're not going to want to read it. But if it's just right, it'll grab their attention and it'll be short enough to where they'll, they'll be able to read through it and decide whether it's a yay or a nay. Now again, I am new and so the likelihood of, of you know attracting business from every single title company that I sent this email to is slim to none but the point is I really want to get my name out there so this is going to be a consecutive thing that I do which is why I created the excel sheet okay every month when the month starts new I plan on sending a follow-up email hey my name is Kayla I am a certified NNA signing agent in the Indianapolis area these are the counties that I cover. I would be more than happy to offer my, you know, services to you. Please let me know if you have, you know, any loan docs that you need notarized. Um, and so I'll just, I'll change up the verbiage, you know, as the month. So this month, as you can see, it started out with, I hope you, you know, enjoyed your 4th of July celebration. Um, so trying to make it just a little bit more personal. Now, to go in depth just a little bit more with how I emailed, it can be a bit taxing to do, you know, copy and paste and send an individual email out. If you're not familiar with emails, I understand, but if you're a little bit more familiar, what you can do is open up your email because it has a signature at the bottom, 
which I recommend you do. Um, and instead of doing like a two and sending it to every single one, you want to do a BCC, which is a blind copy. The reason that you want to blind copy everyone is because when they open up that email, it is going to appear as though you sent it directly to them and no one else. Okay, and when they respond, they're only gonna be responding to you instead of accidentally hitting reply all and it sends to all of the other title companies. So make sure that if you are gonna do the email, I would recommend BCCing everyone so that way you can send one email out, send it to all of your recipients. Just make sure that you do the homework. <coughs> I am so sorry, my child has a cold. <laughs> um, so anyway, that is really what my video was for today. I really just wanted to let you guys know that I am trying to stay on top of everything and be as transparent as possible with my journey for becoming a successful signing agent. If you have any questions, please go ahead and link them down below. I would love to talk to you guys. I am very communicative when it comes to this. Um, if you look at my previous videos, you'll see that I am extremely responsive to everyone who asks questions. With that being said, I hope that you guys had a great 4th of July weekend, and I hope that you get all the signings that you're looking for this week, and then some. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe.